What is up, Fragrant Family? This is Tyler with Simply Fragrances, and today I'm really excited to bring this to you. I'm going to do a review and a comparison. So these fragrances were sent to me for review for, uh, by Kevin Holt um, and his brand, Central Obsession. So guys, please go check him out. Uh, he's got a Facebook page, and uh, he's got some really great stuff. So what he does is he makes cologne, like clones of higher end, you know, niche quality fragrances and, you know, designers and stuff like that. So, um, you know, he's from what I hear just like spot on with his renditions and so super excited uh, about that and can't wait to get to it so um, but I do want to make three disclaimers one I had to redo this video because uh, my phone died so unfortunately these won't be like a hundred percent first um, reactions except for uh, the two that I have left so two of them will be first reactions because i haven't smelled them the other three unfortunately like i was making my video my phone died so i apologize for that but still gonna give honest feedback um and then other two things one uh i want to make this very 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 clear to everyone watching okay um just because someone sends me something for review is not gonna sway my decision on if i like it if i don't if i think it's you know close to the original or not um, you know, if I think that it's good, I'm going to tell you that it's good. If I think that um, it doesn't work for me, then I'm, I'm going to say that. I'm never going to say a fragrance is trash or it's bad or anything like that. Um, but I will say if it works for me or if it doesn't. So um, I'll make that very, very clear. And also something else too while I'm thinking about it. Um, I just want to clear the air uh, just because like I've, I've gotten some posters and stuff lately I, I, get, I get get this poster behind me and the one over on the other wall as you uh, you know saw the other day uh, from Mr. Zaharoff but that's not going to like I'm not being bought out by anybody I'm not you know selling this channel I'm not trying to get likes or anything like that by by doing this this these guys were kind enough to send these to me um, and you know the posters were just a gift um, Mr. Zaharoff is a very generous man I asked him, you know, about a poster a little bit ago, and um, he was out, and then I was going to pay for it, but he just sent it to me, so it has nothing to do with me trying to get in cahoots with anybody. I'm not trying to do that. That's just, that's how that worked out, so I'm not trying to boost my likes or anything by doing that, so I don't want anyone thinking that. Um, and then I'm going to give honest feedback. I don't care who sends me whatever. Uh, Irwin Creed could be in this room right now with a lifetime supply of Creed Aventus. And, you know, he says, hey, if you just give this, you know, Aventus a great review, I'll, you know, give these to you. Well, I'm going to give an honest review. And if it's great, then it's great. But if it's not, I'm going to be honest. So uh, I just want to clear the air on that. And then second thing. I want to make this really quick dis uh, disclaimer. Um, in the fragrance world, um, there can be a lot of drama. I I've seen, uh, you know, this just from the past year or so that I've been in it, especially on different Facebook groups and stuff like that. You know, they one person said this and they said that, and you know, he did this and she did that and blah blah blah. I don't get involved with that, so I just want to clear the air on that. If you know, you make something, whatever, like if he, you know, Kevin makes these and wishes to send these to me but you know whoever doesn't like that then I'm sorry but or if would just whatever I don't I'm not getting involved in that and I'm not going to pick sides pick and choose who I like and who I don't like blah blah, blah. I'm just here for reviews and I'm here to share my passion of fragrances with you guys so I just want to clear the air on that I don't do drama I don't get involved in it if that's something that you guys want to get involved in then there's plenty of other places to go, but this is not it. So um, here we just focus on uh, reviews and, you know, good energy, um, you know, positive vibes and uh, just the love for fragrances. So that's that's what this is dedicated to. I'm not getting involved with, well, they did this and this happened to this and blah, blah, blah. I don't care. Like, I mean, I, I care on a personal level, I guess, but as, as a channel, as, as my channel, I'm not getting involved with anything like that. So... Um, just wanted to clear that out. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and get into this. I'm really excited about this guys um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the first one that I already sprayed. I'm very sorry uh, that my video messed up Kevin But uh, these are gonna be honest reviews. So this is this is called Medusa and this is his rendition uh, Central obsessions. This is his rendition of Pegasus 
and my god this is a spot-on rendition of Pegasus like I don't I, I would not need to get Pegasus if if I wanted to this Pegasus has this creamy almond note that is to die for and this captures it perfectly like 100% like I kid you not this is amazing like you are spot-on Kevin well done I if you were to spray this and put a Pegasus bottle right next to it, I would not know the difference. And this is someone who loves Parfums de Marley. They're my favorite house, and I've worn it very, very, very many times. Like a lot of times, a lot of times, that's good English, right? I've worn it so many times, and this is a spot on rendition. Like, I, 100%. Well done, sir. The next one I had this is Replicas by the Fireside or by the fireplace, sorry. And this is what he calls bonfire. Now, I wanna give a little shout out here too. You can see the dates marked right there. So it tells you when it was made or bottled. And I think that's really awesome. So on this side, I have by the, fire, by the fireplace. On this side, I have bonfire. Now, Now there is a little bit of a difference between them. So with the, by the fireplace, I get more of like a caramel, like a, a sweet, excuse me, sweet honey kind of caramel vibe with that smoke. With Kevin's bonfire, I get a lot more smoke. I get a lot more depth to it. And I kid you not, I like his better. It, just, it has a depth that the By the Fireplace doesn't have. And I know it sounds really weird because By the Fireplace is a really heavy fragrance, but it's also very sweet. This one is a lot more sweeter than Bonfire, but Bonfire is still a sweet fragrance, but it has this smoke, natural smoke accord to it, and I love it. I honestly like this one better than By the Fireplace. So well done on that one, sir. Now another one. I'm gonna do this one fresh because this one I'm really excited about. You guys know how much I love Baccarat Rouge. Well, this is his rendition and it's called King of Queens. Okay, so I'm gonna spray King of Queens. These atomizers are amazing. So put that there and then I'm gonna get a fresh one. And then I have Baccarat Rouge 540 x -trait. Sorry, these are the x so wanted to clarify. So Baccarat Rouge 540 x -trait. Baccarat Rouge, King of Queens. <sighs> so good. I, lo I love this stuff. Like, I can't smell it and not smile. Ugh, so good. Okay. Am I nose set for a second? I mean, spot on, man. Spot freaking on. They're so freaking close, like so close. I... I mean, if I'm pulling hairs, like legit pulling like microscopic hairs, I can maybe tell a difference, like just have them side by side. So the Baccarat Rouge to me, in my, in my personal opinion, it's a little bit darker. It has more of a depth to it, just like I was talking about Bonfire. But this King of Queens is like seriously freaking spot on. It's just a little bit lighter. It's not quite as heavy to my nose, but the scent profile is, man, it's so on point. Well done, man. These are freaking awesome. Like... You might have just saved me like three, four hundred bucks because I was legit about to pull the trigger on uh, Baccarat Rouge 540 x -trait. Yeah, man. I mean, side by side, they're so freaking close. I would say if I'm being picky and pulling hairs, the Baccarat Rouge 540 is just a tad bit, like, tad, tad bit darker, like, more deep, if that makes sense. I don't know if, if, I'm, getting across, if I'm getting that point across very well. 
but man like everything is there that sweet cotton candy um jasmine um oh what's the word what's in it um oh what's one of the ingredients i can't think of it it's gonna drive me crazy i can't think of the name it starts with the s so I'll, I'll probably think of it later um oh that's gonna drive me crazy but man well done well done all right, so these next two are gonna be first impressions. I haven't smelt these, like I said earlier. Um, my video cut out, so phone died. Uh, saffron, that's what it was. I knew it come to me. Saffron was what I was looking for. Um, anyways, uh, these ones are gonna be fresh, freshly sprayed, haven't been sprayed yet. First impressions. So this one is called Sicily. And this is a and this is Zhirzhov, Noxos. So that's this is what his version of Noxos is. It's called Sicily. Freaking awesome atomizers. Okay, so that's Sicily. Noxos. Maxos Sicily. Okay. Very, very close, but there's a difference just to me. So I'm getting more on the Noxos, I'm getting more of that honey, like a like a boozy honey. On the Sicily, it's there, but it's not as present. It's still very good. And I almost get like, I'm not quite sure how to put it. It's almost like, like okay, so this is gonna sound weird, but since I've worn a lot of tobacco fragrances, I can kind of pick apart the difference. This is almost like a tobacco leaf, while this is like, just like pipe tobacco. This has a cherry accord to it, and I'm not picking it up on the Sicily. At least to my nose. But it's very good, very, 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 very good. So close, I, I would I would say they're probably, in my opinion, about 90% close. There are some subtle differences, but very good, very well done. Yeah, very well done, man, very well done. Last but not least, Oud for Greatness, and this is called Noble Woods. And this is a beautiful bottle, look at that bottle. Love that. Well done. Okay. Super excited. Noble Woods. Get a ton of juice. Noble Woods. Food for greatness. Food for greatness, noble woods. <sighs> oh, so good. Wow, very, very close. Very, very close. Th this one, to my nose, is just a little bit lighter in a sense, but I like it better, and here's why. Yeah, so the the oud that they use in oud for greatness is very strong and very present. It's very dark and deep and rich, and it's good, but it's a lot to take in. With this one, it's there, but it's toned down just a little bit, and it's a little bit more easy to wear. But this almost identical, like this one, just a little bit more. Oud heavy, darker, richer. This one's a little bit lighter and sweeter, but I like it better because it's easier to wear. And they're both amazing. Like this is, this is wow. This is really good stuff, man. Well done, guys. Okay, well done, Kevin. This is awesome. Thank you so very much, man. This is awesome. So, guys, check th check this out. Central Obsessions. Hook them. Let them up. Look them up on Facebook. I'll try and leave a description. Uh, for his channel down there, but uh, well done, sir. 
Well done. All of these were fantastic. The Medusa literally 100% smells like uh, Pegasus. Everything else, there was just a tiny bit of a difference, but like so, so, so good. Well done, well blended, well crafted. You can tell that passion went into these and love went into these. So, all right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for this video. Remember, if you love it, wear it.